a recipe for a very easy and very delicious cookie. It's great on a holiday table or for any celebration. It's a cheesecake cookie, and I just love cheesecake, so I love these cookies. In this bowl, I have one cup of flour. I'm going to put in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and I'm going to put in one and one quarter cups of graham cracker crumbs. Just like in a cheesecake, you have your graham cracker crust. Then I'm going to give this a mix up. Okay, put that aside. And I'm going to put my graham crackers away. I like to keep my graham crackers in a, in a container like this, and I buy the regular graham crackers and just pulse them in my food processor. It's a lot less expensive, and it's easier to use from a container. In my mixer, I'm putting in one stick or four ounces of unsalted butter, and I'm going to add to that one half cup of brown sugar, just light brown sugar. And I'm going to add to that a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I have here one egg separated, the whites and the yolk. I'm going to use the whites in here, and the yolk is going to go into the filling. So we're going to put that aside for now. So I'm going to mix this up. Stop it and give it a scrape down. If you looked at it right now, it looks lumpy and separated. and Don't worry about that. That'll all go away. Now I'm going to start adding the flour, mix, flour and graham cracker mixture. Give it another scrape down. It's coming together nicely. Give it a little bit more. One lump of butter in there, which is sticking, so get that going out of there. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. Let's clean off my paddle. Now, 
have a cookie sheet. I'll need a couple of them, but I'm just going to show you one that has been, that I'm lining with a piece of parchment paper. You can use parchment paper. You can use Silpat, um, or you can uh, grease your pan. Now, hold on one second. I just wanted to dampen my hands when I do this. My hands, when they're damp, roll a lot better. So now what I want to do is roll balls of dough like that. And I'm just going to fill up this sheet with the dough. Okay, there's one tray filled with cookies. Just going to put those aside and I'll keep making these and putting them aside. And then when I come back, I'll show you how to make the filling and how to fill the cookies. So let's proceed with the cookies, the cheesecake cookies. I got 35 cookies. I've got two pans over there and one over here. Now you need to make a thumbprint in them. And I don't like making a thumbprint this way because then you have like a well off to the side. So what I use is this really high-tech tool. Or you can find something, I'm sure, that's shaped similarly. And I just make a nice little indentation in there. And you can see how nicely they come out. And they're all the same size. You're going to get some cracking on the cookies. Don't worry about it. They won't taste any worse because of it. Okay, now we've got that. I'm going to put that aside. Now let's make the filling. I have three ounces of cream cheese, a quarter of a cup of sugar, that one egg yolk, and some vanilla. So we'll just put all of these things into the mixer. Come on, get off the, cheese, the sugar, the egg yolk, which broke. And half a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, if you wanted to, you could also add a little bit of lemon zest here. That's up to you. I just don't happen to have a lemon here today, so I'm going to make them without. And just blend this up. Scrape it down. Okay, that's good enough. I've got a few little lumps in there, but not to worry. Creep it down. Now, we're going to take our cookies and we're going to fill them. So take some of that filling. You could also put this into a Ziploc bag and pipe it in, you know, cut a little hole in the corner. Hmm. Now my oven is heating up at 350 degrees. And we're going to bake these for 10 to 12 minutes. And then I'll show you a few things on how you can serve them. Thank you. 
I am going to use the, zip, the bag. I think it's going to go a lot faster. This is just taking too much time. So all I did was take a zippy bag. Again, freezer quality because otherwise sometimes when you're piping it'll the seams will burst. I push it all down into a corner. Like that. Now, apologize for keeping forgetting things, but cut a little hole and then just fill your cookies so much faster. So I'm going to get these in the oven, fill the others, get those in the oven, and then I'll show you how they look when they come out. Well, here is the first tray of our cookies out of the oven. The other two are still in the oven. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can um, serve these. You can serve them just like this. They're absolutely delicious. You can put a little bit of icing sugar, confectioner's sugar on. And there's the snowy cheesecake cookies. And then there's yet another way. If you really want to fancy them up for, say, uh, maybe it's a bridal shower or a baby shower or something. I've got in this baggie some raspberry jam. Cut a little corner out of it. I'm going to put just a little dollop on. Then going to add a raspberry and maybe a little mint leaf. There's another way of serving these to your guests. You could use blueberry jam or you could use strawberry and get a piece of strawberry on top or whatever tickles your fancy. I'm going to put some of these on, but when you add that little bit of green to it, you've got a very holiday-ish looking cookie. One more. And then more snow on top. Now, Aren't those beautiful? And believe me, they really, really taste good too.